now we come to 4.17.170 this is another important sutta on a certain occasion the venerable ananda was staying at kosambi in gosita park then the venerable ananda addressed the monk saying reverend sirs your reverence replied those monks to the venerable ananda the venerable ananda said Reverend sirs, when anyone, be it monk or nun, proclaims in my presence that he has attained arahanship, all such do so by virtue of four factors, or one of these four. What are they? Herein, your reverence, a monk develops vipassana contemplation, eh? preceded by samatha tranquilization. In him thus developing Contemplation preceded by tranquilization is born the way. He follows along that way, makes it grow, makes much of it. In him following, developing, making much of that way, the fetters are abandoned, the lurking tendencies come to an end. Or again, your reverences, a monk develops tranquilization preceded by contemplation. In him, developing tranquilization preceded by contemplation is born the way. He follows along that way, makes it grow, makes much of it. In him, following, developing, making much of that way, the fetters are abandoned, the lurking tendencies come to an end. Yet again, your reverences, a monk develops tranquilization and contemplation together or simultaneously. In him thus developing tranquilization and contemplation together, the way is born. He follows along that way, etc. As he does so, the fetters are abandoned, the lurking tendencies come to an end. Once more, your reverences, a monk's mind is utterly moved and taken up by Dhamma. That is the time, your reverences, when his mind stands fixed in the very self or internally, settles down, becomes one-pointed, is composed. In him the way is born. He follows along that way, makes it grow, makes much of it. In him following, developing, making much of that way, the fetters are abandoned, the lurking tendencies come to an end. Indeed, your reverences, when anyone, be it a monk or nun, proclaims in my presence that he has attained arahanship, all such do so by virtue of four factors, or one of these four. And that's the end of the sutta. This sutta is, was spoken by the Venerable Ananda after the Buddha's passing away. Because when the Buddha was still alive, uh, whenever the monks or nuns attained arahanhood, uh, they would come and inform the Buddha that they had attained arahanhood. So because the Buddha had passed into Parinibbana and the Venerable Ananda was considered like a, a leader of the Sangha, uh, and so uh, they would come to the Venerable Ananda. The Venerable Ananda was supposed to have lived up to about 120, the age of 120. So uh, monks and nuns, uh, they would come and inform Venerable Ananda that they had attained arahanhood. And in this sutta, Venerable Ananda says uh, that all of them, all the arahans, attain arahanhood by one of these four ways. These four ways. In other words, there are only these four ways to attain arahanhood. There is no other way eh, to attain arahanhood. The first one is a person practices samatha first, followed by vipassana. The second one, he practices vipassana first, followed by samatha. The third one is samatha and vipassana together. The fourth one is a a method of meditation which nowadays uh, is seldom taught in Theravada Buddhism but which has gone into Mahayana Buddhism, Zen Buddhism and also uh, Hinduism, uh, Jnana Yoga and that is contemplating on the self, contemplation on the self until the mind becomes one-pointed which also means that's a Samatha practice and then after that uh, he follows along that way yeah, and uh, the asavas are destroyed. So these are the four ways uh, to attain arahanhood. And in all these four ways, uh, we find uh, actually both samatha and vipassana are necessary. Samatha is tranquilization of the mind and vipassana is the contemplation, contemplation 
uh, of the body and the mind basically yeah. uh, so uh, if nowadays uh, people say that samatha is not necessary it is not the Buddha's teaching if people say vipassana is not necessary it is also not the Buddha's teaching both samatha and vipassana are clearly necessary uh, in this sutta uh, 